Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this. Before getting started, I like to thank Squarespace for supporting this video. Whether you need domain website or online blog, make your first move with Squarespace. Get 10% off with your first order. Visit the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Cinematic Logo Intro. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own setting. The first step is to add pictures to your project. You can download these images from the link in the description, and place them into your project. I don't want to add my logo right now, so let's unselect it, and add all other images. Cool. Press P to open position, go to around 15 frames forward, and then add a keyframe on the position. Go to the first frame, and change the last position value to negative 540. If you play this, you can see the animation, but all of my images are animating at the same time. If you hover your mouse on the window and press the back quote key on your keyboard, you can make it the full screen. Just hover your cursor on any window, and then press the back quote key. Select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open graph editor, select the end keyframes, now we cannot see the handles to adjust the curve, so let's zoom in a little by pressing the plus key on your keyboard, and then adjust the curve shape. Also, let's add a motion blur to it, if you can't see your switch tab here, press F4 to switch between. In case your F4 key has friend zoned you, right click here, go to columns, and select switches. Now click here to add motion blur, and then activate it from here. Now the most important part. We are going to set the animation timing of each layer. It is important, but very easy. Just place your layers after the second keyframe. Make sure to start this process from the second last layer. Else the animation won't be visible. Do the same with all layers, if required, you can always zoom in, and zoom out the timeline by pressing the plus and minus key. Perfect. Your layers should look like this. Now. I don't want this animation on my bottom layer. So select the keyframes, and delete them. Also, make sure to change the last position value to 540, instead of negative 540. Switch back to the default size window, and RAM preview this. I found that my animation is a bit slower. And we cannot adjust each layer individually, so select all your layers, right click, and pre-compose it. I am calling it slideshow. Perfect. Now right click on this layer, go to time, and select time stretch. I am using a stretch factor of 75%, it means my animation will be 25% faster. Ramp preview this, and see if you are happy with the speed now. This looks good to me. But this stretch factor also shortens the length of my videos, so let's fix this. Open this slideshow composition. Go to composition, and select composition settings. Here change the duration to a higher number, I am using 15 second duration this time. Perfect. Zoom out the timeline, and now our new duration is 15 seconds. 
switch back to the main timeline, grab the edge, and make it longer till the end of this timeline. Cool. Let's add our logo, and place it above the slideshow layer, let's pre-compose this logo, before doing anything to it. Make sure to select this option, and then hit OK. Now press S, to open scale, and add a keyframe on it. Go to the few frames forward, where my animation is stopping. And here change the scale value to a smaller number, so that we can create a zoom out animation for the logo. Perfect. This looks good to me. Now select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open Graph Editor, select the last keyframe, and change the curse to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and apply Motion Blur to the logo as well. Cool. Now select the Slideshow layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call it Slideshow Mask. Make sure it is below the logo layer, and then click here, and change Track Matte to Alpha Matte. Select the bottom layer, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fast blur. Apply it on the layer, and then change the blurriness to 30. Also, make sure to check this repeat edge pixels option. Check the animation, and you will find your logo is sharp, and rest image is a blur. Again go to the effects and the presets and this time search for the hue saturation effect. Apply it on the same background layer, and play with the master lightness option. You can keep lightness down, to get the darken images, but I am going with the lighter images background. Don't make it completely white or dark. Now select the slideshow mask layer, right click on it, go to layer styles, and select drop shadow. It will add some nice shadow around your logo. Now expand this drop shadow option, and change the opacity to 30%. Also, change the size to 15. Now we have this nice looking shadow on our logo. Let's add hue and saturation to this layer, go to the effects and the presets, apply it on the layer, and decrease the master lightness to negative 15, as well as, change the saturation value to 25. Now we can see our logo way better. But we are not finished yet. It's time to make a logo reveal. Select your logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Click here to turn on the visibility of this layer. Now right click on it, and select pre-compose. Make sure to check the move all attribution into the new composition option. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC light wipe effect. Apply it on the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. We are going to use this completion section to reveal our logo, but you are free to choose your own style. Cool. Make sure to select this reverse transition option, and then increase the completion amount to 100%. Go to the frame where your animation stops and add a keyframe on the completion. Go to few frames forward, and change the completion size to 80%. Perfect. Press U, to open keyframes, select both keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline, and RAM preview this. This looks good, but the logo reveal is a little bit faster. Let's place this keyframe on a different gap, to make this animation slower. RAM preview this, and see if you are happy with it. You are free to make the timing slower as you like. Perfect. Now we are going to add light leaks to it. 
but before, select all layers, and press U several times to minimize all the layers. Cool. Now create a new solid, and call it Light Leaks. You can make it any color you want. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it on the layer, and adjust a few settings. First, change contrast to 300. And decrease the brightness by minus 80. Change complexity to 1. And then expand this transform option. From here, change the scale value to 1500. Now, press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon. Here you can add the script to animate it. In this box, type, time, star, 120. Here you can see this is animating. So let's add color to it. Select this layer, and apply hue saturation to it. Click on this colorize box, and then change colorize saturation to 100. And change colorize lightness to minus 30. You can use any color for it, but I am going to stick with the bright red color. Perfect. Now change the blending mode to lighten, and here we have this nice looking light leak. You can adjust the opacity of this layer by pressing T, and decrease the value that looks good to you. I am going with the 60. Now the final step. Create a new solid, and call it film bar, make sure to make it black in color. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC Jaws effect. Double click on it to apply it on the layer, change the height to 0%. And change the completion to 75%. RAM preview this, and our animation is complete. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. You have done all of these work, why don't you show this to the world? Go to the squarespace.com, and make your own website, it is easier than it sounds. Visit the link in the description, to get 10% discount on your first order.